Ah, you're here already. Well, there, buddy. That's good. Let's get started. <laughs> welcome back. I'm the Missing Zog, and welcome back again. <laughs> I say that twice often. Welcome back to our more to our Grand Theft Auto laid back grinding. As you can tell, it's very laid back. And yeah, it's, I'm very tired. Uh, can you tell? <laughs> but yeah, it's very late night for me. Uh, the event uh, event week for Independence Day is just about to end, and there's a whole bunch of double money just about to end, so I thought we'd do a quick, kind of, sort of, bonus laid-back grinding. Yeah. See if we can make some extra money before that ends. So it's literally down to the last hour. Just starting up in my club here. Might as well grab our money here. All right. Got our Los Santos Lovers shirt on. To do some more laid-back grinding. How you doing? I'm good, Lester. How are you guys? <laughs> Hopefully you guys are good too. Let's go down to business level one. Basement level one. I'm gonna have some coffee. Hmm. Oh, that's better. Helps with the voice and it helps with the uh, the staying up late. <laughs> so let's see, change over to our company. All right. So yeah, welcome back everyone. So this is how I keep my popularity bar total, so uh, complete. Some people wonder that all the time. Every time I log in, I just kind of usually, my, my usual login is the uh, nightclub, not always, but usually, and I just log in and change DJs. And that's it. And then I can also check in on my, my warehouse, which is good to go. Well, maybe we will sell that at the end. It's not double money for this right now. So we might save that for last. Because we only have so much time for the other stuff. So let's retire for now and head out. But yeah, the nightclub's got some stuff too. Let's see, is our presser outside? It is outside. All right. Yeah, so event changes. Uh, for those of you who ever play during the event change, now when the events change, um, it's usually, give or take, at uh, midnight Pacific time, Rockstar time, West Coast time. Yeah, West Coast US. And, uh, but that depends on where you are in the world when that changes for you. And Rockstar, you know, is very inconsistent. You know, I guess that's one thing they do well. They're consistently inconsistent <laughs> about a lot of things, as we both, as we both know and have talked about many, many times. Yeah, on my own, good, perfect. But yeah, so sometimes, so it usually um, happens at midnight. Now, for me, in Eastern Standard Time, that's usually about four in the morning. Sometimes, in the past, it used to be often at 4.30 in the morning. Where am I going to go? Hmm, which one will I go to? What do we do first? So we sell one of those first? Uh, bunker mission first? Yeah, bunker mission's a good warm-up. I want to get right into those crates, but, uh, but I need a quick little warm-up. And I'm used to the bunker missions, so we'll do those first. Hopefully we get a quick one. Hopefully it'll be a nice one, nice and quick. Yeah, so definitely a, a laid-back grinding, but at the same time, I guess this one's going to be more hurried than normal. <laughs> but not a rushed laid-back grinding. I'd be doing better if I was rushing. I think, I hope, I don't know. This one's kind of more like a, a trying not to stop, tired, laid-back grinding, hurried? <laughs> I don't know. But I'm going to try to keep us rolling along here, because uh, I'm down to the last hour. So, I think it's like 3 in the morning where I am now. I don't always play this late, but I do often enough to go through those event changes. Yeah, so when the event changes, um, some people think if you stay in the session, it never changes. And hopefully that'll work for us today. But for me, in my personal experience, that's not always the case. So sometimes, uh, when the event changes, everything stops working. You can't buy ammo, you can't buy body armor, you can't run any missions. If you can, they don't pay you. So make sure you guys watch that in the top right corner when you get paid, you know. The money will often show up. It'll say you got paid, you know, 400000 but you want to see it actually show up on your total, actually add on to your total. Because sometimes when there's been bugs and glitches in the past or weird stuff like that, it would pop up saying you made the money, but it didn't actually add it to your total. All right, run our bunker cell solo here. Yeah, so sometimes the, uh, the event would, uh, would go on, so as long as you didn't leave the session, the events would stay the same. 
And sometimes everything would stop working, like I said. And sometimes it was a little bit in between. You know, you couldn't buy things, but you could run missions. So I found it a little bit unpredictable that way. So let's resupply like we normally do. Get another 75,000 coming in. Sell our stock for double money while it's still there. 420,000. Yay. And hopefully we get a nice easy one. Don't know if we'll get lucky enough for all business today. <laughs> That's our favorite mission. Agent 14 says that. What do you got? Oh, okay, Marshall. these buyers can't be seen to touch down on U.S. soil, so they're picking up the shipments at altitude. Thank you, Agent 14. We got it from here. We know this mission. Where is it? We're going all the way over there this time, though. Uh, okay, let's go. It's always nicer when it's right beside my bunker. But sometimes we gotta travel. Off we go. Got our AP pistol ready. We did this the other day with our oh, rank 500 rank up. And I get the Marshall truck often actually. But I never mind. You know, I, I like the, uh, a couple of ones like the uh, uh, all business today, like I mentioned that. That's much easier and quicker. You know, just an insurgent right to the city. But of all the other missions, this one's not too bad. And oftentimes it's much closer to me. This is probably the farthest I go, is this mission we're on right now. Unfortunately, but it's still good because it's a Marshall truck mission. There's other ones with uh, with the Insurgent and with the um, uh, the Dune Buggy. I forget its real name. But each, each spot you drop off at is a bit of a battle. And you can't go to the next one until the battle's complete in certain missions, so... So the Marshall's not bad. As we've talked about before, you just kind of get to the spots, drop off the five, and you're done. Now, as soon as you start dropping off the first crate, the first weapons, uh, two buzzards show up, and they attack you. And uh, they're, they're in total, there's eight buzzards, so if you kill the two, another two will show up, and another two will show up, and another two will show up. Oftentimes, I find they really don't do much damage, and I can just more or less ignore them and only fight them as I need to. And many times they do very little damage to me, or none. Now, uh, just to be honest with you guys though, after my rank up I did one of these and they killed me. Now that said, nothing nothing got destroyed or anything, they just killed me and I had to run back over the hill and jump back in the marshal and then kill them just in retribution. <laughs> but it does happen, so don't feel bad if it happens to you. Sometimes they get lucky shots, sometimes I'm driving and I drive into their bullets, you know, like sometimes that just happens and the NPCs get you just right. If you run the mission enough times, they're going to get you one day. <laughs> but I've ran this mission many, 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 many times, and uh, it's usually pretty easy. I can almost do it, you know, completely ignoring those buzzards. But it's good to stay sharp, even when you're tired like I am now. <laughs> so hopefully you guys can't tell too much, I apologize if you can. But, uh, but yeah, I'm tired, but you know, it's now or never sometimes, you know, I got the time, uh, why not, right? And it's double money, don't know how far we're going to get, you know, don't know what kind of random missions we're going to get, so how quick they'll be, but I can hope that we're going to get a bunch of double money, maybe even all the double money, <laughs> who knows, we'll see. But yeah, we got our bunker right now, and we've got our bikers, biker businesses, which I'm going to leave for now. They're uh, not quite done, but by the time we get there, oops, sorry, by the time we get there, they'll probably be ready. Maybe not the meth all the way, but maybe. The meth uh, lab seems to take the longest. Alright, so it's just over there to my right. And like I said, in other times, I usually go from one end to the other. I just find it's easiest to track it, easiest to keep track of where you are. So we're going to keep on heading to our GPS one. Woohoo! <laughs> and then we're going to go across to the others. Kind of in a half moon, half circle kind of pattern. Ooh, oh, I thought that was the hill, but we had to go up a couple more hills. Oh, come on, Marshall. <laughs> Sometimes you got to let off the gas so it can get its feet back on the ground. Uh, its wheels. You know, a monster truck has feet, right? It's like giant paws. they just circular shaped. <laughs> Alright, so here comes those buzzards. Let's get out of here. So there's the next one just ahead of us. Let's 
keep going. Be careful on these hills. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Because it can be deceiving how far ahead they are. And sometimes the best path is not directly at them. Sometimes you go kind of around and stick to the ridge of the mountain instead of going straight on. <laughs> Let's drop the <laughs> weapons like that. Why not? There we go. We're okay. <laughs> oh, he's pulling up beside us. Give me a load. <laughs> These are my guns. My guns and ammunition. There we go. Let's get down that ridge line for the next one. Unfortunately, it kind of stops you when you uh, got to drop one. So you're kind of a sitting duck for that split second. Woohoo! Go, go, Marshall. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh. Tried to slide out of that, but didn't work. <laughs> you can't stop us. Oh, no. But the mountain might. The hill, I suppose. Big hills. Uh, there we go. Done. All right, get this out of here. <laughs> Some more coffee. Hmm. All right, so some extra money from a bunker. Normally that's 220 this time, or something like that, 210. Yeah, now it's 420. We've talked about this dirt bike before. I wanted to keep this dirt bike as a permanent dirt bike, but it doesn't let you keep any of these ones from the missions. Looks like you sold out. To the right people, too. Only the good wars being fought with those guns. Promise. Yeah, let's just call that in. Yeah, so I'll have to buy a Sanchez or steal a different one. You can steal Sanchez's, but you can't keep the ones from the missions. Unfortunately. All right. So where would we go? I think our crate warehouses. Mm. After our little warm up here. So our presser being our favorite bike is healing us up. My, my life down there, the green bar is just filling up down there. It's a nice handy feature of, uh, of your favorite bike. Retire. I should have done that already. So retire from the company. I don't have a big risk of raid from the our two new, well, our two large crate warehouses. One of them is new. If you guys watched the previous episode, so just got that for a bunch of crate missions to show those off too. And a crate mission episode, in the previous one. I think I'm gonna put on some body armor. Yeah. Should we do the new one first? Yeah, let's go through the new one first. Let's do that. So, I wanted to fill these up, but I ran out of time. Unfortunately. Real life and some system problems that slowed me down. So, thankfully they didn't stop us, but they slowed me down. Uh, over here. It's my new warehouse, so I gotta, <laughs> I gotta get used to it. Alright. Yeah, so I wanted to fill them up, but they're not full. I don't know if I've done a not full warehouse sale in a long time or ever. So this is kind of a first for me. And I'm thinking I might get some of the uh, smaller vehicles. You know, I've told you guys in the past, you never see, with the large crate warehouses, you never see the uh, small vehicles because it just never gives them to you um, when you've got this much stock. Let's head inside. Pardon me, had to cough there. So, yeah. So I've never sold it not completely full like this, but with the double money, it's worth selling right now while we can. And then we'll fill it up again and I'll, we'll do that again in another uh, laid back grinding episode where we'll do two of them completely full. 
but I guess we'll have to settle for two of them just over half full. <laughs> and I wanted to do some more crate missions too as part of this laid back grinding, but I guess we'll have to do that next time too because we just don't have enough time. But at least the last episode we did a whole bunch of missions. All right, ready? Like I said, I have to admit I'm a little nervous. I don't do these very often. All right, sell for 2.2, which is good because I've only got enough stock in here to be worth uh, 1.1 million or so. So, good money. Let's sell that. Here we go. What do we got? What do we got? All right, a sale plane. time. The goods are loaded up at Los Santos International. The buyer wants you to make airdrops at a number of locations around the city. Hmm. You ready for this? Let's go. <laughs> uh, I like how she says, are you ready for this? <laughs> Hello, as requested, the goods have been moved to the specific, specified delivery vehicle. <sighs> All right. Well, I've said in our previous laid back episodes that I wanted to get some different vehicles. And we kept on lucking out and getting the uh, brocade trucks, which are um, an excellent way of doing it, possibly the best way of doing it. Uh, very easy. But I did want to see some variety. Mic adjust my microphone. There we go. Maybe that's better. Yeah, there. Sorry, guys. Had to adjust that. Yeah. So, hmm. So I don't know, I guess I'm looking forward to the fact that we got a different vehicle and I'm not looking forward to actually doing the mission, so we'll see. But we've already upgraded all of our vehicles, like the Titan, yay! So this Titan on here, so it's an upgraded Titan. So hopefully it's going to hold up against anything we run into this time. Now if you do run into any troubles, guys, um, you want to quit right away. And usually that won't cost you, uh, it'll cost you a small penalty. So I think a few crates, maybe three crates worth. Let's see the drops before we take off. One, two, three, four, four drops? No, that can't be right. It says five drops, but I only see four. Hmm. Come on, Titan. It's been a while since I flew a Titan. I used to fly the uh, contact mission all the time too. A Titan of a job. <laughs> Gotta watch you don't stall the big planes. Now I should have set a GPS to the closest one I could see. But we'll do that in the air. Why not? Because we're crazy that way. <laughs> okay, so. I don't know if I'm missing it. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I think it's going to give us the last one. Probably after we've done all four. So on this mission, if I remember right... Um, there's going to be, it's either a straightforward drop, you know, nice and easy, which is going to be, kind of be appreciated if we get that. <laughs> Other times you get attacked by uh, Merriweather, I think. And at that point, you're best to just keep going and make sure you've done the armor upgraded to your Titan. So I definitely recommend all the upgrades at your warehouse. You only have to do them once, and all your warehouses are upgraded. So you only have to do them once. So some people wonder if, if you need to do it for each warehouse. No, just once. And unfortunately, it costs about 1.2 million to upgrade the Titan, to upgrade the uh, Brigades, to upgrade the, the, the uh, Tugboat. Those are the three different cell types. Yeah, so we're going to see what happens here. We might even call Merriweather for a decoy backup helicopter if we get attacked here. Let's hope we don't. I don't see anybody, but that doesn't mean anything. I'm pretty sure this is the next closest one without checking. So let's head over. Now if we had a second player with us inside the co-pilot seat, you can uh, jam missiles, which is kind of a cool feature. So that stops people from locking onto you. Yeah. Now I haven't ran into it myself, but rumor has it that the Valkyrie is around is one of the helicopters that Merriweather uses on one of these missions. So be careful around certain helicopters. The Valkyrie is deadly, and apparently the, the the front cannon will shoot if it can aim at you. So watch out for that. It's a deadly helicopter. Want to keep your distance from them. But an armor upgraded Titan will somewhat carry you through, even if it's smoking. And if it doesn't, then just quit right away. 
And hopefully when you log in, you've only lost a couple crates. Let's see, where are we going? Let's go there. There. <laughs> All right, so a half hour timer, should be plenty of time. Which means if we had to take the long way around or if we had some friends with escort with us, we should be able to do that. Sometimes if there's other players and you're gonna do it anyway, it's a good idea to go the long way around them, come back, you know, maybe from, from the north to the south if you've got time to do it. Yeah, when you do play with other people, it's a 1% bonus for every other player on the map. Which is kind of cool. Up to 20%, so up to 20 players. Oh, we did not get the doo doo doo. What happened? Ah, oh, this thing does not turn like a jet fighter. <laughs> not at all like a jet fighter. So I'm lowering altitude and taking a big turn. I wanted to just drop right down, but it's probably best not to do the stunt flying in this big beast. But apparently you need to be a little bit lower. Yeah, it's supposed to be based on the difficulty is supposed to be, uh, I should say the difficulty is supposed to be based on the amount of cargo that you're selling, the value. But I've personally found never no correlation. It seems pretty random to me. But mind you, I haven't done many smaller sales, like I was saying. This is the first time that I can think of doing a half sale. But the money's worth it. We've got another, our old zero gas large crate warehouse ready to go to. Get some speed. Turns out the last job is over a restricted area. Get ready for heavy resistance and expect law enforcement. Hmm. Well, that doesn't sound ominous at all. <laughs> restricted airspace. Are you talking about where my hangar is? You better not be talking about where my hangar is because that's not restricted to me. Unless the Rockstar just conveniently makes it so. Yeah, sure enough. And Rockstar makes it conveniently restricted to me anyway. Okay, so we could call Merriweather on your contacts and get a decoy helicopter. They have a service there for a backup helicopter. And don't be afraid to use it sometimes. It's a useless thing, but it's a good decoy. So we just got our access approved. So there we go. Oh, no law enforcement. What are you talking about? We're good. Yay. Oh, we get just got them anyway. Lose the cops. Okay. Lester. Need your help. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> Can't there we go. Heat, my friend. Okay, leave it with creepy Uncle Lester. <laughs> we did it, everybody. Woo. All right. Made just over the normal amount, even with a half sale. Well, just over half sale, we still uh, still made more than normal amount. Normal's 2.2, .2, and we almost made 2.3. Nice. Woo. All right. Just uh, for this tiny chance of a raid, we'll just quit that anyway. Hmm. I'm going to touch this down. Uh, the beach. Yeah. We could just jump out. But then we get another star and have to lose them, and we can't call Lester right now because we just did. <laughs> so let's see if we can just bring it down to the beach. Maybe we should call in our vehicle first. That way we're sure it's actually there waiting for us. Uh, Kula? Yeah, it's called the Kula. Why not? Call in the stealth helicopter. It's a good choice. Alright. Back behind us. Oh, this thing just is such a beast. <laughs> All right. 
I'm sure uh, somebody will take care of that. <laughs> Good job, everybody. Let's go get the next one. Oh, hey. Woohoo. Hundred million dollars. I just noticed now. I noticed our pay and I didn't think about it. We got a hundred million dollars in our bank account. Woohoo. Yeah, I did have the cash too, but I I don't did count the cash. <laughs> we did it. Yay. Alright. That's not good enough. I wanted to kinda of make that to the new zero maybe. But the casino DLC might put a dent in that, so we'll see. But it'd be nice if I could keep that as a new bank account. So that means we need more than a hundred so that we can spend money. <laughs> right? Right. I thought so too. Alright. So that means um, we should go do the other sale. Yeah, by my clock I got roughly half an hour before who knows what will happen when the event changes. Could be the casino DLC dropping. Could be another week or two for that. I don't know. You guys will know already by the time you're watching this. Because it'll take me a little bit of time to get this one out time of my recording I still have to put together the crate mission uh, episode. It's been recorded but not put together and created. Where am I going? I am going totally the wrong way. I was going to our uh, brand new warehouse again. Mm. See when you're tired you lose time just because of that. And I might have been absentmindedly going towards a GPS location. <laughs> I should get rid of that. Just in case. Tired missing Zark. <laughs> Follow the purple light. Ooh. Okay, so we have other double money things like our biker businesses. But I think we should uh, do the other crate warehouse first. Because that's the other big one. So that's the one that's most helped. And if things go wrong, we'll have to restart and come back and maybe try again. So, so who knows what will happen. So it's a good idea to try it first. They could put brocade trucks here too, right? Well, let's let's see what happens. Let's put the helicopter right here. Oh, oh got caught on the sign. Now I was distracted by that baller truck that just barely made it underneath, darted right underneath us right at the last second. Okay, still alone. Hey, don't hit my helicopter. Stop that. Stop that. Oh, stop hitting the helicopter. Ah. Okay, let's get inside. I'd fix it, but we may not even need the helicopter. So let's just get inside, launch the mission, see what happens. Right? Ah, uh, right. <laughs> okay. A bit of coffee for me. <sighs> let's start it out. So this one's the, I think, the exact same as the other one, guys. I think it was like 63% or something like that. Somewhere around there. Two point two nine, yeah, almost two point three. Same as the other one. All right, woo. Ah, let's see what we get this time. Enter the boat. Wow, we, we got, got a boat mission. He wants to make the exchange in international waters, okay. so the goods are loaded onto a boat down at the docks. Get it out to the drop off, and we got our money. All right, Benny, sounds good. Thank you very much. As requested, our goods have been moved. Bit of a rough takeoff, but that's okay. It's just got to get us from here to there. All right, so, yay, guys. Kind of. I'm not looking forward to this, but, <laughs> but it's the boat mission, so you guys get to see a boat mission. Woo. It's right over here, too. We should get out of stealth mode and make sure there's no targets. Yeah, targets. Somebody's trying to get our stuff already. Someone leaked the location of the boat. You'll need to get rid of them or grab the boat and get out of there. Okay, so there's the boat down there. Drop our landing gear. And let's toast these guys. Oh, there's more than I thought there would be. <laughs> That's what you get going near my stuff. Stay away from my stuff. Told you guys. Always touching my stuff all the time. I should just enter the boat. 
this guy. I was trying to get this last guy, but he doesn't want to come out. <sighs> Alright, that'll do. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, not that one. Maybe this doll. I gotta figure out where to hop in. It's been a while. Oh, he's all the way over here, isn't he? Who's Daz at now? <laughs> no, no, not that way. Not this way. I gotta work on my swimming. That way. There we go. So I can do more picturesque dives. All right. So the tugboat has been upgraded, thankfully. Keep going. Get in. Oh. I guess he's gonna stop, so we gotta go all the way up here. And he won't jump. So you can't climb. Yeah, change that. Huh? You gotta go manually inside here. There we go. It's been a while since I've had the tugboat. Could you tell? <laughs> Maybe that makes it worth it. There we go. You just gotta hum a tune when you're in a tugboat. <laughs> Alright, so they're probably gonna come and tag us some more. We wanna keep on going no matter what happens. Because this is a very, very slow boat. I think it might even be the slowest vehicle in the game. Certainly one of them. I think it might even be the the slowest. Yeah. So, no matter what happens, keep it rolling. And you can shoot from where you are if you need to. But as long as you've upgraded the tugboat, I think it upgrades the armor a little bit. I think it upgrades the uh, speed of it a tiny bit. And um, from there you should be safe to just continue on, as long as it's NPCs and not players. Out to sea. I'm surprised they didn't come after us. Hmm. Well, there are other ones where there's missions where they come after you too. I think there's actually a helicopter that comes after you. And you can just kind of take shots at them, but I found in the past you could just keep going in your upgraded tugboat and pretty much ignore the helicopter. By all means, if you can shoot it, then do so, but it shouldn't be able to stop you. There's our destination up there. The sailboat up ahead. Apparently, that's international waters, I guess. Hmm. Kind of close. <laughs> if you ask me. <laughs> to the shore. That's international waters over here, are you sure? <laughs> you'd think it'd be a little farther out. I'm happy it's not farther out, but you'd think international waters would be a little farther. Look at it, I'm not stopping for nothing. <laughs> Alright, we did it. Woo, we did it. Yeah. Good job, everybody. Good job. All right. Uh, do you think I can get the oppressor to spawn here? Yeah, I wish we had time for other things. I'd drive a sports car or a muscle car or something else around here. But we should go on to the next thing. Limited time. Still laid back, but many things. It was a good week. Lots of uh, laid back, lots of double money, I should say. All week long. It was a good time for all that stuff. Hopefully they do some more weeks like that. And more triple money events would be nice too. All right. So we did our two crate warehouses successfully, and we even got a boat and a Titan mission. Different from our other ones that were usually the brigade trucks. Not bad. Now what? Hmm. Well, we could do some of those MC things. We probably should. But I was also debating, and I think I'm going to do it, guys. I'm thinking about it right now. I think I think I should sell the rear cargo. Just for you guys. <laughs> yeah, I talked myself into it. <laughs> We're going to do that. 
I haven't ran a sale out of Derriere Lingerie in a long time. So that's over here, out back of Derriere Lingerie. <laughs> so this is our medium crate warehouse that I used to use at the beginning, and now I just use it for our rare cargo. So we have our rare cargo collection. I think in the other episode, I might have here and there said eight items. I think it's actually six. Yeah, six items. So the rare film, those that haven't seen it, you know, the unreleased hidden secret film that is rumored to exist, but nobody's sure. And the fist sized diamond, specially cut, the ornamental jewel uh, egg, Russian egg, and the fabled Sasquatch belt, the golden minigun. And the most expensive, the most valuable, um, by profit anyway, the uh, the rare pocket watch. Yeah. So, apparently you can't sell them individually anymore. It makes you sell them all. So I'm going to sell them all right now, and these count for double money. So I'm not really exactly sure in the total amount. I think they're around 100000 each or so, some a little less. So give or take, it's around 500000 600000 500000 to uh, normally sell it, I think, somewhere around there. So it's double money right now, so we're gonna sell them all. And then I'm gonna hopefully collect them all. So I wanted to see if I could collect them all. We did it. Yeah, collect them all. Now we're gonna see if we can get rid of them all. <laughs> later on, I'm gonna see, maybe, I'm not sure, but but later on I might see if I can get six or, or five of them, I should say, five out of the six. And then the seventh one, hopefully, probably the rare pocket watch being the most valuable, I'll put in a different warehouse out there and then sell that one and see if the game keeps me giving me uh, the rare pocket watches over and over again because you can't get any duplicates. The game can't give you any duplicates. That's why I haven't gotten any new ones in a while. Yep, outside of bugs and stuff that have happened, no duplicates are allowed. So that means if I force the game, if I, only, if I sell the pocket watch, then I'd get another one and another one and another one. Unfortunately, because I got them all together, it doesn't let me sell them individually right now. Too bad. It does show you pictures down there, up above though. Yeah, for a second it showed us a different one, didn't it? Maybe not. For now it just shows the ornamental leg. Well, we're going to sell them all for 1.4 million and 50,000. Not bad. Worth it. Double money's the right time to get rid of it, if there's any time, right? Oh, and a brocade truck. All right. How about that? Let's make some money. Sounds the goods good. are in the truck. The truck goes to the point on your GPS, and the funds go into our account. Mm -hmm. It's all simple if you don't get ambushed on the way. Mm. Good luck. All right. Thanks, Benny. That's why we pair. That's the kind of delivery on the phone that I, I need. <laughs> Let's switch over to our AP pistol. We do have to watch out for an ambush. Those things can happen. Sometimes they attack you when you get to the spot. Not too sure about this one because this is a rare cargo cell, but at the same time it's a whole bunch of them. So it's just calling out a special cargo cell with a single brocade truck. There we go. Sorry, I had to fix something there. All right. Room. <laughs> Coming through. So yeah, don't know what to expect. I'm hoping it's just nothing more than get to the drop off. We're on our own. We got our weapon ready. Oh, I didn't see a. <laughs> Sorry. He hid in the front of the truck. Didn't see him at all. As you guys can see, this truck just buggies. It moves, whoa. Yep, so once you upgrade them. And in general, they are great trucks. I like them. As I've said before, they are very maneuverable, very fast. At first, I wasn't too sure. And even now, it can be a little strange, because like I've said, they're awkward trucks. They, they uh, I don't know how to put it, but when you're new to them, they can, they drive funny, you know? They don't exactly behave like you expect them to. But as you get used to it, you start appreciating them compared to the other trucks that you usually have to use, the lame trucks that are on all the other MC cells and stuff like that. So, compared to the other things you have to use, the brocades aren't too bad. And they're fairly armored. And fairly fast. <laughs> Fun. You can use weapons in them too. Yep. Some bunker cells, you get insurgents where you cannot use your weapon, so it's kind of nice. Mind you, there's a gun on top, so that's kind of different, I guess. You successfully delivered the special cargo. We did it. All right. 
Woo! There goes our rare cargo. Somebody, some peoples out there are very lucky <laughs> to have that rare cargo sent. <laughs> All right, 1.4 million dollars. Holy cow! Can you believe it? <laughs> All right, maybe that's deserving of a ride in the Volitas. Yes. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe we should change our outfit too. We're not quite done yet, though. That's what I say. Yet, not quite ready for for late for our style and sock or anything. So, we should maybe um, go with sock. Yeah, for our latest victory. Yeah. Oh my Ooh. God. So I seen that coming. I was like, please don't have me. Thankfully, good driving, lady. Thankfully, you stopped. That would have been very bad for you and for me. <laughs> very embarrassing for you guys to have, it, to have seen that. <laughs> oh. Away we go. All right. So, right in our luxury Vlitas. Sometimes it feels good. Now. Hmm, so we did those. Now it's on to uh, biker stuff. Hmm, probably cocaine would be the logical place to start. So let's head over and do that. We need a replacement vehicle though first, don't we? Yeah. So let's call in a vehicle. What do we call in? Uh, yeah, 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 Kula. Yeah, we don't know what we're in for, so. Akula's a nice good bet. It's fast, it's stealthy, it's armored, it's got weapons. I like using my pyro. It's very fast. I think it's the fastest currently. Whoa. For now. And it's a great uh, vehicle to get around the map with. But w when you're doing the MC stuff, you're never really sure what you're in for. So I don't know. Uh, the pyro doesn't fit everywhere very easily, I guess you could say. Whereas helicopters do. Taking mental stock, yep, yeah, bunker. And three whoa, three crate cells. I don't think I've ever done three crate cells before either. That's another first for us. Hmm. Big days, big days. Yep. Yeah. Now that we're rank 500, we gotta act like it, right? We do this stuff every day, every day. <laughs> not quite. As many of you guys know, there's a lot of grinding to this stuff. It's not like this every day, right? You gotta. You gotta wait for the stuff to build up. You gotta resupply things. You gotta fill it full of crates. You gotta you gotta do all that stuff. You gotta wait for good weeks where they give you double money. Yeah. So it's not like this every day as much as I wish it was. I always laugh when I see those <laughs> some of those other YouTuber videos where it's like we make this many millions in an hour or two hours, and it's like, well, yeah. I mean, of course you got it already. I don't know how much we make, but I'm pretty sure we've made pff, I don't know three and five million and things like that on other occasions, right? So doing laid back grinding, but I never really thought of it like making it that because it's 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 the end, not the uh, the whole thing, you know. You got it. it takes hours to fill those crate warehouses, right? All right, so let's sell. Eight hundred forty thousand sounds good to me. Okay, come on, Lester, don't let me down with that post stop truck. Yay! That's another problem we I, we haven't talked about yet. We selling? Huh? Okay. Let's go. Fire wants it airdropped. The product's loaded and waiting at the helipad. Speaking of helicopters, we get helicopters. I don't mind it. It's not the quickest, but uh, it's not hard. It's nice and easy. To me, it's kind of the classic episode, or the classic uh, cell type. Uh, maybe it's just because I've gotten these a lot over the, uh, over the. I don't know how long it's been since the uh, bikers came out. A couple years, something like that. Year? No, not a year. A couple years. Yeah. So I've done this one a lot of times. That's a good one for newbies to help you with. You know, there's not much of a trick to it. It's not as hard as the Dodo seaplanes. Um, you know. Yeah. You don't get as stuck as easy as uh, the trash trucks or things like that. So it's a friendly one to take newbies with you. But that's assuming you knew you were going to get that mission ahead of time, which nobody ever does. Kurt. <laughs> Sorry, Akula. <laughs> All right, we'll put it back in the shop, get it repaired. I just like to keep my vehicles away just in case. 
and it keeps the evidence of my presence to a minimum. Let's go to the map, see where we're going. We are going there. Now we're going around. Yeah, it would have been nice if we had got a single truck mission. That's the fastest, the easiest. But what can you do? We didn't get the post-op truck when we're all alone, so I'm not going to complain. And uh, for any newbies, that's the uh, newcomers. That's the um, that's the one and only cell type when it's full with three trucks that can't be done solo. So only one mission can't be done solo, and that's the post-op trucks. Now, some people claim to have done that, and I want to see that, because, you know, I don't exactly doubt it. Some people say they've done it with seconds to spare, but I don't know. That's a very hard one. Now, then again, these days, it seems like, uh, like we've talked about before, it seems like Rockstar's randomized these drops. You know, for a long time, it, it was the same pattern. You know, you'd do this mission over and over and over and over and over and over. And after a while, you'd start learning that uh, this is the pattern. Oh, I've got this helicopter, and usually it's a drop here, drop there, and then I go up the mountain, and it's a drop there. You know, but then I learned that at some point, Rockstar changed it, and these, these drops now are random. So it's the same drops we're used to, but they're in random order. So now it's, it's sometimes a drop there, sometimes not. Sometimes the drop is over here, and sometimes the drop is over there. So it's not the same patterns anymore. Makes uh, looking on the map all the more important, I guess. If you're trying to make a good flight path. Make an easy flight path out of it, so you're not wasting time going back and forth, or any of that kind of stuff. There we go. First one of Devon Weston. There we go. Devon Weston's house back there. Yeah. So the post out track. Um... So that can't be done solo, like we've talked about many times. Um, with two players, now that they've randomized it, it seems like it can be done easier. But it does depend on the routes you're taking. If you drive the post-op truck, make sure you look on your map, because sometimes on certain routes, they'll give you bad GPS. It'll have you going back and forth, back and forth between the spots. And you're better off to do what I'm doing kind of thing, to make a pattern out of it. Although sometimes I kind of forget as I'm going along. <laughs> and I have to check again. I'm thinking about doing that right now. I can no, that's that's the mountain. Yeah, so that's up the mountain. And these two are over here. Okay. Yeah, I have to decide am I gonna go up the mountain? Or am I gonna go way over the right first? I guess we'll go up the mountain first. This is kind of a long path this way right now. Because it means we've got to go all the way up to the top of the mountain. And then all the way over to that shore over there. <sighs> so if I got the post-op trucks right now, it probably wouldn't be a good idea to quit. I don't know what to do about that. Hmm. Or would it? Because now it's coming up to the end of that uh, uh, event. So... Wondering, do I push through and accept the loss with the double money if it lets me? Uh, that's a hard one. Hopefully we can avoid it. <laughs> I don't know. But that is a hard one. But yeah, normally I'd quit... If I was alone, if that happened. But today is double money, so sometimes it's, you know, like the large crate wares is being sold uh, just over halfway. Sometimes it's better to go for the double money than waiting. Here we are, way up top. Now, for any of you who have never noticed, or any newbies out there, the uh, see the yellow yellow targeter, the, where we're going, the yellow check spot, the drop point. It has a little chevron on it, a little arrow. And right now it's pointing down and flashing. So that means that the drop is at a lower altitude than us. And if you go back in the video, you'd see going up to the mountain, it'll have a chevron pointing up. 
So sometimes when you're flying along without checking the map, you can tell whether it's uh, uh, high up the mountain or at the bottom, just by whether or not that, that chevron or that arrow is pointing up or down. Not everybody notices that, that it's not just a blinking indicator. It also tells you the altitude in relation to where you are. There we go. All right, let's head back for more. Now, you can do it in enough time by going back in this buzzard and grabbing the next. But if you can speed it up like we can, you do. Now, I'm going to call in my pyro. I'm going to wait a second. Sometimes it spawns it back there. So I'm going to try to avoid it by waiting a little bit longer to see if I can get it to spawn by these radar dishes over here. Yep, there it is. So like I've talked about before, whenever you're changing vehicles like this, um, you always have to weigh the time it takes you. See, this is time right now while we land, while I jump in, he jumps in, he's got to close the canopy, he's got to fire up the engine, then we got to take off. There we go. So you always kind of have to weigh that time against just flying along in the in the buzzard in this case. There. But right now it's worth it. I'd probably be passing by the buzzard right about, right about now. Yeah, I would think. That's a loud jet engine. like setting off my flares when I'm doing this. <laughs> yep. Do a twirl and send them all off in every direction. Too bad it doesn't have a bomb bay. It'd be nice if it was a dive bomber. Alright, landing gear down. And I cut my engine. And then I fire it up. Come to a stop. Got to be careful if you jump out too early, it'll it'll eject you. <laughs> and that's not what you want. Yeah, it'll literally fire you off. So, yeah, you want to be a, almost pretty much at a complete stop or else to avoid that happening to you. All right. Okay, let's go. And go do another circle around up there. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to put my vehicle away. Oh well. We'll call in the oppressor down there. Yep. I just try to do that ahead of time. That way when I'm done all this route, I can call in my, my aircraft. Otherwise it'll tell me, you already have a special vehicle out. And it only takes a moment to quickly call in your, your vehicle and then call back in an aircraft, you know, but it's it's always nicer when it's already done. One less thing to do later. Gotta get over the Vinewood Hills. And off with our second helicopter. Yeah, so we'll have to see when we finish here, guys. So we're just crossing over my the time <laughs> as we're doing this that that the events can change. So what does that mean? That means that uh, it might glitch when it pays me. We'll see. We'll see. Hopefully, Rockstar pays us our whole eight hundred forty thousand. 
and I'm gonna if it does I'm gonna go right to the next one in the worst case scenario it's just gonna pay me the normal amount right so maybe hopefully so it shouldn't do us any harm and in the best case scenario it'll give us double money We'll have to wait all the way to the end to find it. To the end of this cell. And then the next one if we're lucky. We'll see. But we got those large creek warehouses done in time. That was the big ones. Almost brought us to 1.5 million all by itself. If this pays out, it should. Yep, yeah, with the 800,000. Woohoo. More money than I've ever had at one time. <laughs> we can buy lots more cars. Lots more stuff. And lots more casino DLC stuff. Yeah, can't use any weapons in these buzzards, unfortunately. Uh, people with you, though, if they're right along for the ride, they can. So, in the passenger seat, right there. And it's good to remember that they can use things like uh, their flare gun, the uh, pistol type flare gun, and they can actually fire away missiles using that. Mind you, it only works for one flare for one missile, but it's better than nothing. So That was an added feature. You know, a while back that did not work. And then I can't remember, was it Smuggler's Run or somewhere around there? Yeah. A lot of people forget now and think it's been in there for a long time, but for a long time there was nothing like that. <laughs> Nowadays, I think that they should really give uh, flares to all the old vehicles. You know, flares and countermeasures to the uh, Buzzards and to the Vladas and, and the private jets and all that stuff, really. Why not? I think the tanks, too. You know, some of that stuff, too, should have smoke and, uh, and flares. It would be nice. And I think it would make sense. And in today's times, they still would not be anywhere near overpowered. <laughs> with all the stuff that's out there and usable. I still think it's unfortunate, like we've talked about before, that you can't use a lot of that stuff, you know, during your grinding, you know, because you end up in these buzzards and trash masters and brigade trucks and, and tugboats and, you know, it's uh, not too often you get to use your, 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 uh, your nice stuff, you know, your bombers, your jets, your, your armed aircraft and helicopters and armored cars. Too bad. We've said before, and I'll, I guess I'll say it again, but I wish Rockstar would let us use that stuff. You know, maybe a, a cell type, or maybe you could pay a tiny fee when you and you could choose the cell type you like. Or better yet, there would be a choice in there to uh, to use your own vehicles. That'd be nice. So you could use whatever you brought. Insurgent custom pickups or whatever. That'd be nice. Speaking of uh, vehicles, call in our pyro. That's the crazy farm down there. Don't get too close. <laughs> there we go. Cocaine to keep them happy. <laughs> down to our pyro. Spawned over here. Yep, so LJT tells us in the corner the same thing. Those crazies. Yep. And if you're low enough, they will spawn and they will shoot at you. So watch it. Very low risk, though. They're they're very you know they're insignificant little ants, basically. But like we've talked about before, you never know when an NPC is going to get lucky. Ah, oh, some coffee. Yeah, you fly over something enough times, and one of those times, one of them might get a lucky shot. <laughs> So remember when you're flying along in these things that generally speaking you want to be uh, around 800 feet up. So 
So that's roughly the, the height of the Vinewood sign back there. Just make that out. Oh, 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 wrong way. <laughs> over there, way over there on the hilltop. Yeah. So generally speaking, most aircraft go a little bit faster when they're up higher. And if you guys can't tell too, just to mention it, I ignore that yellow thing. I think that brings you to the front of the uh, airport. Yeah, the, uh, the uh, mission icon. Instead, you just want to go right to the blue vehicles. That's all that really matters anyway. Whoa. Yeah, so I forgot to mention, last time I was saying I cut off my engine and Maybe you guys noticed that that's a, uh, a faster stop the last time we were here. So, sometimes I forget and that's okay and it takes longer as you guys can see it. It rolled all the way in here. So it still worked out great though. But I've been practicing that cut your engine off when you're in the pyro or other fast things like that. And you flop down to the ground and then you bring your engine back to life just in time. Uh, let's go to that one. Let me put that one. Yeah. And I find you stop faster. Alright, up, up and away, and our very last helicopter. I wonder if this landscape will be changing soon with the casino. Hmm. hmm, maybe. Maybe not. Some people wonder right there in the Mile High Club. Some people wonder if it'll ever be finished too. There's been a zillion rumors off and on that that would be finished. Never happened. <laughs> I'm not saying it won't, but never happened. Rockstar is kind of mysterious though. They brought out a lot of stuff, but there's a lot of things they never did bring out. It's kind of strange that they never did. A lot of people always wondered, were they ignoring people? Were they bringing out single player DLC and it would be included in that? Were they leaning towards GTA 6? Which I think was wrong at the time because it was, you know, it takes years for them to bring them out, so. Even right now, I think it's probably still going to be a while till we see GTA 6, possibly another couple years. Yeah. They still have to bring out Bully 2. And uh, possibly another game before they get to it. So, but Rockstar sometimes loves surprising us. So you never really know. But yeah, don't fall for those other things, everybody. <laughs> Whenever they tell you this is the last DLC, bah. we still haven't got our mansions yet. <laughs> I want a rich guy mansion. Why well, don't have a big rich guy spread a big estate? <laughs> Somewhere I can show off cars inside or something, I don't know. Yep. An indoor jacuzzi. I think we only have one of those with the yacht. We need another one. Somewhere. <laughs> Alright, let's head over here. Watch out for things like those towers. They can sometimes hide in the fog or amongst all the other buildings and things when you're not really paying attention or you're getting tired like I am <laughs> uh, it's getting harder to talk I gotta get drink more coffee can't stop flying yet no must make devil money <laughs> yeah it's not really a big deal actually we've already accomplished what I wanted to the big crate uh, missions back there but now that I'm looking at our total up there in the top right I find myself wanting to see 105. <laughs> Why not, right? And uh, it is, after all, like I said, our new zero, 100 million. So, so I kind of need more millions than that anyway. Especially if I want to, with the casino DLC, if I want to not dip down too much. But I'm sure we'll make it down, make it back if that's what happens. Don't worry. And yeah, we'll start doing some live. I'm going to definitely do that too. Just 
to mention that. Preferably some laid back grinding. But this one I kind of was running out of time like I've said a bunch of times so I had to quickly just jump in. And I'm going to start hopping on too. Maybe we'll see if we can find some, uh, some other uh, uh, crew members and uh, some other friends out there when they're online and join up with them. See what happens. Maybe we'll hop on some uh, busy random uh, filled public lobbies. See what happens to do some air patrol episodes. <laughs> some other stuff. You never know what'll happen. As I'm sure a lot of you guys already know in this game. But when you're in the mood for it, that's one of the things I like the most about a game like this, you know, is that you never know. You know, humans can be unpredictable. So, and sometimes that's a good thing. It makes the same game not the same game. You know? Sun in the mountain. All right, we're almost there. Just over the hill. Just over the bridge here. Just over there. <laughs> There's the red flare. All right, ready? Let's see if we get 800,000 or 420,000. Come on, double money. Woo! Yay! We sold it and it added up to our total. So it didn't just tell us, it actually worked. Yay! Yep. So like I said, guys, keep an eye on that, because sometimes it can be glitched. But I found that whenever a bug happens, it'll always tell you that you got paid. But it doesn't mean you actually did. <laughs> so it's a good idea to have a have an idea of what you had beforehand, um, just to know. Oh. Okay, invoice paid, and we have a sale. And I should be quitting. I usually do that right away, but I'm getting tired and rambling on. <laughs> but yeah, you want to avoid raids. You can't be raided when you're not in your MZ, so it's a good idea to just quit. Now our bills just came out there too, if you guys noticed that in the bottom left corner. Another little tip that I mentioned before is that right now if I didn't have to stay, if we didn't have double money, you know, if it didn't really matter to me, I could quit right now or change sessions, change sessions, change lobbies, um, and... Um, uh, and I would avoid the, the uh, biker bills. So right now, because I quit, the biker bills did not charge to me yet. So as soon as I join my biker club house again, which we're just about to do, it's going to charge me 30 grand for joining the, uh, the club for all my employees. So it's a good idea anytime you can avoid that to just change sessions or reload and, uh, and you avoid that. But it's not a lot of money, right? So don't go out of your way. You know, I'm not going to right now. It's only 30 grand. But sometimes, uh, you know, it's uh, it's worth it to avoid it. Sometimes I'm just going to check in on things and, uh, you know, at your clubhouse and you just want to log in on your computer. But for 30 grand, I'll avoid it <laughs> and wait till next time I log in. Right? Because those 30 grands add up over and over and over and over. And over a year of playing when you're not paying attention, that's how, that's how Rockstar sucks it all out of us, right? <laughs> all right, here we are at the weed farm. Let's see what we get now. I like sun showers. They're nice. Hmm. Great weather in this game. I can't wait till for uh, GTA 6. Just imagine, right? Yeah. But it's got such diversity, diversity you know? Uh, uh, different types of rain and thunderstorms and sometimes you get really nasty storms and awesome stuff. And it even has, as we know from the holidays, it has snow in there too. I've said before, I wish they had uh, snow sessions all the time. You know, you, you, they could just put in an option when you load up the games. They could say snow, se snow session. <laughs> I should stop saying session because I'm having a hard time saying that today. <laughs> too many S's. I should say lobby from now on. Yeah, snow lobby. And then, uh, yeah, because I don't see the harm. Like, there's no bug to it. There's no trick to it. You know, snow hurts you, if anything. So it's not like uh, anybody could make extra money with snow on the ground or anything like that. But it'd be fun every now and again, once a month, to feel something different go ripping around in the snow in a sports car or something. It's too bad. Only once a year. At least they stretched it out, though. It used to be for a week, and now I think these days they almost give us two weeks at the holidays. So I logged in. It charged me my bunker, which is 9,000, which I could have avoided, too. And now, any moment now, it's going to charge me 30 grand, but that's okay. Resupply, let's do that. 60 grand, okay. And sell stock, still is double money right now. That doesn't mean we're going to actually get paid it though. Unable to launch. What did I tell you guys? See? 
Come on, come on, Rockstar, come on. Let, let it happen. Just let it happen. No, just, just let it happen. Ah. <laughs> oh, there it is. Rockstar Service cannot process this transaction. Oh, but you could charge me with your bunker bills, though. No problem there. <laughs> Should just ban it, because they could probably raid me just fine, too. Sigh. <laughs> Two thumbs down. They cut us off. Oh, well. On the bright side, it looks like they've improved it with uh, patches, you know, another two thumbs up for them, because it looks like it's better, you know, it, it did pay me, so I'm not complaining. Uh, by my clock, it's 15 minutes past. Now, maybe it just happened to change just now, but I think it already did change, and it just happened to, to still pay us because we were already on the mission. So, good news. Once upon a time, it was not so smooth, as many of you veterans know. But yeah, many of you guys have said and uh, made comments in the past that you can keep playing in the session, and as you guys see right now, that's not always the, the case. You can keep playing and finish that mission, but beyond that, who knows? Yeah. But it doesn't surprise me. It wouldn't have surprised me either way if it had a ran it, and it wouldn't have paid me if it, it wouldn't have surprised me if it had a ran it and paid me normal. Uh, buzzard. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Whatever. It wouldn't have surprised me if it had of um, had it paid me the um, uh, uh, the double money amount, yeah. So, oh well, I think we did well, right? Yeah, we did good. Look at all that money. Maybe we should do a cash deposit. Hmm. Yeah, maybe at the end. I was thinking about letting you guys go because I'm tired, <laughs> but. There is more we could do, but it might be a good idea for me to reload too, because I don't think it's going to let me do anything any at this point. And if there was double money for the uh, nightclub down there, we wouldn't get it, or it won't let us load it. So, so it might be a good idea to reload. There could be double money on that stuff this week. Who knows? Let's launch our terabyte. Request terabyte. Now, just for you, some of you guys who have wondered about the event change because we've talked about that this time. I guess that's kind of a topic this time. I, that's good. I like talking about different things, you know? Don't get me wrong, guys. I like talking about everything, but you know, as you guys could tell. <laughs> but I don't want to bore any of you guys who have watched uh, all of our laid-back grinding. You know, I don't want to be saying the same tips over and over. I also don't want to leave them out for anybody who's missed them, right? But, but I also don't want to be repetitive either, so... Some things are good to be reminded about, though crazy drivers they're always crazy there <laughs> as you can tell i just gotta ignore them thankfully my terabyte can handle it it's very protected all right so we're gonna join up our company if it lets us and i just want to do another quick little test guys and we're gonna see can i do a client job diamond jumping that's double money right now really oh it's gonna let me do that let's see Thank you, Paige. This is usually faster, guys. I just did a circle there because I'm lost. <laughs> Basically. I had to think for a moment. Right. I have a pattern. I usually come right over here. There's the guy. And the other guy. Send them a present. There we go. Coming in. Give me the diamonds, man. Give me the diamonds. Give me the diamonds. Oh no, we froze. <laughs> oh, game over. All right, guys. Well, I guess I'll have to reload it. I was telling you about some, I've got some power supply issues, unfortunately. <laughs> but it held up for us. Good job. I have to get that fixed. But yeah, it's been doing that to me lately. Oh well. So I'll see you guys back in a moment. Maybe we'll uh, do our nightclub after all.